Hi everybody, this is Bev. Today I want to do a tutorial featuring the Robbie the Raccoon stamp set and it also has matching dies. And this tutorial is really about how you can create the look of fur on these little guys. So you can do it with blacks, blues, or browns. So today I'm going to do it with browns. And then also you can put it together with the little garbage that comes with it and a bunch of the fun sentiments. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is to stamp your raccoon in whatever color you want him to be. So I just stamped him in black and you're going to want to make sure that whatever uh, ink you use to stamp him will work with whatever colored pencils you're using. Now the colored pencils I'm using are this Prismacolor pencils. I'll have those exact colors up on our blog. But I'm using a pink, just a little bit inside of his ears and on his nose, the uh, light brown, a darker brown, and a black. Now the very first step you're going to do is you're going to take and just take your pencil and you should have it sharper than this one. I don't have my sharpener right here. And you're going to start with your lightest color and you're just going to make little flick marks just like this. And I made it up sort of around his um, eyes out towards his cheek and then I came back to his nose and made it out from his nose towards his cheeks again down in the bottom. So that's the first step is to just lay down some little flicks of color ideally with a sharper pencil than this one, and get that light color in there. Now another decision you're going to want to make early on is whether you're going to want to color all over his face or whether you're going to want to leave white around his eyes. And I've done them both ways. On this particular one that I'm tutorialing on right now, I did the whole thing. So go ahead and make your choice about whether you want white around it or whether you want to leave it completely open. Now once you're done with the face, I moved on to the ears and I did little flicks up from the bottom of his ears and out from the center of his ears. So you're going to want to do that. And then once you've got that all done in, I went down and around his back. So just flicking again and trying to keep it as random as possible down his back, but then also sort of curving so that by the time I got to his sides, I was flicking more straight down. And, and then of course I did the tail too, and I just did little flicks like this. So by the time you're done doing all those little flicks, which actually go pretty fast, you'll end up with something that looks like that. Now once you have that little guy, all of the light little brown flicks put in there, then you're going to want to add in some black. And raccoons have this sort of, um, often have these sort of stripes. So you want to just think about where you're going to add in your next color. And I'm adding in black next. Now you could decide that instead you're going to add in the darker brown and then do sort of the black stripes later. But all I'm doing is sort of going in and figuring out where these black bands are going to run on my raccoon. And then again with a very sharp pencil adding in some black little flicks. You want to just make some stripes, make them as random as you can in terms of overlapping and all of that and just add stripes so that you end up adding stripes, sort of bands across the body that looks something like this. So you're going in with your lightest color and then adding in your darker color. Now once you've got your black bands in there, I went in with, whoops, that's the wrong one, I went in with a darker brown to add some more detail. And so what I did was I took that darker brown and just bent in and did a lot more flicks, just trying to get them all in there. And this again works better if you've got a really sharp pencil. And where you would have shadows, I tried to concentrate even more there. So just all over the face, in the ears, and all over the body, you're adding in that darker shade of brown. And so that starts building up how uh, most animals have multi colors of fur, and this starts really putting lots of different colors in there because some of them are going over the top of the others to make new colors too. So once you've done that and added in the dark brown on top of the black, on top of the lighter brown, you end up with something that looks like this little guy. And don't forget to add all those colors into the tail too. Then once you've got all the layers of color in and have him shaded the way you want to, you can go in with just a little bit of pink and add it to the nose. You can also add it to the ears if you like that idea too. Now this is what the brown and black raccoon looked like when I was finished with it. And if you want it to be a lighter color, you can just use more of that lighter brown. This also works great <laughs> with other funny colors like blue. Now on this one, I laid down the light blue, not as flicks, but more as just um, a layer of light blue, and then went over the top with um, a little bit of the darker blue, and then also some black. 
And this guy is done more in shades of gray. And on this guy, again, I left the white around the eyes, left the white around the eyes on this guy, where you can fill in the whole face. So there's lots of different ways that you can um, shade these guys and make the fur like fur, look like fur too. So I don't quite know how I'm gonna finish up this card, but I'm thinking it's gonna look something like that. So that gives you a feel for how you can make fur on that Robbie the Raccoon um, stamps. I hope you enjoyed seeing this tutorial about how to make your raccoon look like it has fur. This technique, of course, will work for making fur on a lot of different creatures, including many of the animals in our Animal House collection. So if you like cute critters, I hope you'll check out that collection of stamps and dies. Thanks so much for watching.